Now that I have my um, underpainting all finished up, this is where I'm gonna really start to move in to start to show off uh, an understanding of mixing up colors. Now, I, I was using very similar colors that are inside of my photograph. You certainly don't have to do that. Uh, so I'm just gonna be working with de developing some deeper shades down into my shadows, and I'm gonna work with maybe trying to blend up a little bit of some thicker um, tints with mixing up plenty of white, getting that really nice and thick with my brush, scooping it up and kind of spinning my brush over onto the edge over in my area here. I can wipe it off onto this little edge of the, of the mixing tray. And I wanna add, start by adding just a very, very, very small amount of brown. And I'm gonna try and bring back some of this little highlight down here in this jawline. And you can see I'm using pretty thick paint and I'm just dabbling. It certainly does not have to be um, very realistic. We get used to drawing and being able to control everything really well. Uh, and in painting, we kind of have to be a little bit at the mercy of our paint. Just add in then just some of these, these highlights. And this is getting a little mucky, so I'm gonna kind of wipe off this extra area here. Rinse out my brush. I don't want much water for this process. All right. And I wanna try and bring back a couple of these highlights here inside of these ears. Not gonna show up too well, probably on camera. There we go. Okay, so what I wanna see is I wanna see you mixing your values with your tints and your shades. Starting to kind of bring back to life some of these deeper, darker shadows. I'm gonna grab some of that black Mix that up with some of my brown. Oop, that got too dark. I don't want to go in that dark. Let's go brown. There we go. Now, if you don't like mixing up with black because it's a little bit too dark, you could use like a, a blue violet. I want to try and get some of these shadows back in place down in here. Kind of giving myself, giving my, I'm just kind of dragging my brush around a little bit, giving it that furry texture. I'm not trying to cover everything up. I want some of that underpainting to show through. Okay, so your goal is to begin layering your various different hues and values. If you add in a color in one spot and it feels really out of balance, add it in other spots. If you don't like the way that the paint looked, rinse out your brush, try to spread the paint out. If something didn't work out the way that you were hoping it did, let it dry. Take a look at it after it dry, it's gonna look different. Remember your goal here is to be showing off your understanding of mixing colors. And just there we go. We'll just do some little dots here. I don't like these browns too much, but I'll just kind of let them fade in. Yeah, it's too dark. Okay. So remember our goal here is to layer up our mixed colors. Now I can, maybe I can go in with some shades of red to kind of deepen up my shadow in here. 
kind of laying down a little bit of a line, rinsing my brush out, clean brush to help soften those edges. Okay, so we're mixing up our various values to help develop our animals.